Hello, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel and thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate it so much. So this is going to be a general reading. I'll be putting out February videos Monday and Tuesday for the first week. I'll put them out weekly. So um, they're running a little late. Usually I have them out last week, but I was a little late this week. So they'll be up Monday and Tuesday. But this is going to be a reading for how your person feels about you. So oracle cards over here, tarot cards over here. So the first one we have is blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So I feel like your person is blaming you for something or they feel like you're blaming them for something. Blame is involved. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So somebody is probably intimidated by your perseverance how or you're in, I feel like somebody's intimidated by your perseverance. You go for what you want, even if somebody's going to blame you or try and hold you back, you're still going to move forward for what you want. And happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So your person sees you as very persevering, you go for what you want, and they see you as happy. But there's some sort of blame. So I don't know if you can accept the blame or somebody else is trying to blame you for something and that... You know, you go on despite what other people try and throw at you, I feel. So the first one is Earth, Earth King. This is my Heaven card. So this is somebody in Heaven around you, protecting you, making you feel loved, trying to make you feel like they're around you. So Ace of Sky. Ace of Sky is telling me that when you get that, this is a warning to me, that when you get that feeling that... Um, in your head, thoughts in your head, or a funny feeling in your stomach that when you go past listening to that, it's going to be difficult. Whether somebody's not going to be honest with you. So I feel like somebody's trying, in heaven, is trying to guide you and give you more instinct on somebody who's not for your highest good. I feel like this is somebody who is wanting to talk to you, but I don't feel like they're going to be honest. So the world, look at this, this is beautiful. So you're dreaming of how you want to change your life. You could be going towards the perseverance and the happiness. So I feel like somebody sees you as planning your life and what you want to do. So Sky King, somebody um, sees you as not very communicative. Somebody could see you as cold possibly too is what I'm getting off that. So, Sea Kitten says that somebody sees you as in and out. Not You're just not very balanced when it comes to them. So, if this doesn't apply to you or you vice versa to where this is how you feel about somebody, go ahead and vice versa that. And you can vice versa masculine and feminine. So, then the next one is consequences. So, if somebody sees you as not balanced that you take consequences or you take actions that bring consequences. And if you persevere... And that's the way it is. But So blame and perseverance are kind of coming out, the unbalance and consequences. So then we see Sky Queen. So Sky Queen is somebody else who watches you from afar, and they don't say anything as well. So the Emperor. So the Emperor is somebody who's boss-like, somebody who puts their pride and ego on a shelf or really high on a pedestal. So I feel like people may see that you... Um, feel higher than other people. You have a lot of pride and ego. So the emperor. Oh my goodness. So this is a power couple right here. Somebody sees you as the other half to them is what it looks like. So feel free to vice versa which one you would be the emperor or the empress. So the empress is very nurturing, very loving. She does have her back to the emperor though. Look at that if we put them next to each other. So I don't know if somebody has upset their partner. The blame card is coming out. But this person is very loving and this person is very pride and ego. So the stars card. This could be Aquarius placement or Leo placement. But I feel like somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. They see you as happiness, persevering, going for what you want to a fire. So I feel like they see you as having regret on some things. That you spend a lot of time, it seems like, looking in the past. Looking at the past and how everything went and what you did. So if you had consequences from your actions, I feel like you reflect on that a lot is what this person 
things. So Ten of Fire, they see you as not being involved in chaos and drama. You remove yourself from chaos and drama. And Strength, they see you as strong. So I see the Lion here and this is Leo placement. So I do feel like there's Leo involved in this reading somewhere. So they see you as very strong. Oops, wrong card. So should I switch? I am going to switch to the next uh, Tarot Illuminati. So at 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a deck of cards. So if you're interested, I know that's a little ways away. But just pay attention to what deck you like, and I will have a drawing. And if you win, I'll send you a new deck of one of these cards that I use. So the first one is King of Wands. So King of Wands to me is somebody who is very skill-minded. They're really good at staying on track. They persevere. They go towards their happiness. So this is really good. Judgment. So somebody is either passing judgment on you or you're passing judgment on somebody. So I do feel like somebody, I feel like almost like a king of wands is passing judgment on you for some reason. Something happened. Let's pull the next card. Denial. So somebody feels like you're in denial about something is what I feel. Somebody feels like you're not looking at something right. You're not dealing with something. And it's making them very emotional or it's making you very emotional. A lot of emotions and denial. So the sun, this is beautiful. This is the happiest card in the deck. This goes with the happiness. So you are going towards your son and being happy and so maybe you are denying somebody passing judgment on you going towards what you want would be persevering too and somebody doesn't like that maybe they don't want you to succeed so two of wands so two of wands says that somebody thinks you have options you have a couple ways you could go and nine of wands nine of wands somebody sees you as putting your guard up being like a warrior mode being like boundaries up, I don't want to deal with you, don't come around here. So Princess of Pentacles, they also see you again as the sun. The rays are all the directions you could go. They see you very passionate, very strong, standing alone, very abundant at bringing your coins and making yourself stable. The wheel, wow, so you've had the world and the wheel. So I do feel like whatever is coming to you is like fated to you. So it's fate. You're persevering. You're going towards your happiness. And something on your everyday life is going to change. Somehow what you do every day, whether it's a job, a car, your living arrangement, something is going to change. But it's supposed to change. So you, we're all guided to where we're supposed to go and what we're supposed to do. So look at you have temperance. So temperance is something coming second time around like the first time it didn't work to me so it comes around a second time and you see the rainbow in there I see the water connecting in her cup so this makes me think I see the irises in there too the purple irises if that means anything to anyone so I do feel like when the water's connected it tells me that you could have been connected in a former life with somebody I do feel like that. I feel like you were connected to somebody that you're dealing with now. And I feel like in this life, you are more connected than you were in the last life. I feel like it's a different relationship, but better. So, Princess of Wands. So, Princess of Wands going over the Nine of Wands. So, you are in stance, warrior mode. Somebody sees you as, but I feel like, again, this could be two females right here, but somebody sees you as very strong, doing what you say you're going to do. Six of Swords. Somebody's moving away from something. So I feel like somebody feels like you're moving away. Something, maybe you gave something a second time, or you're moving towards a second time around. And Three of Cups. Three of Cups is celebration and happiness. So you're going to be celebrating and happy over something. And you have happiness up there and persevering. Sorry about that. That was loud. So now I'm going to use the Oracle of E-Cards. So the first one is Bunny Hop Jive. So Bunny Hop Jive is something new, like your seed's growing and you're going to be really happy. And this is always like a number of love to me because bunnies you know usually aren't alone and 
Dancing usually takes two people. I, I'm aware you can dance alone, but bunny hop jive just makes me think of a bunch of people doing a lot of happiness, a lot of dancing. We had celebration and dancing, happiness. The next one is I got your back 24. So I do feel like you have the four twice. So I do feel like the universe has your back or somebody around you has your back. Somebody is very protective over you. And 29 would be 11. So this has got an owie. So I do feel like some light is going to rain down on something that hurt you. Something that made you change because it was really harsh, I feel, and you felt it is never going to come back to your life again. Whatever that is, I feel like the universe saying, I got your back, it's going to go behind you. It's not going to ever come back. Whatever that is to you, I'm not sure. So the first one is 47, connect to source. You're getting a lot of fours in this reading. Go within to discover the need, what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. So this is the feather starfish. They flow upside down. So this is there's something about you that's really unique, really different about you, that makes you different than those around you. And connect to source. It's like connect to what it is about you that makes you you that other people don't have because there's something about you that makes you uniquely you. So shedding the old 38. And so you have 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. You have 11 twice, and you have three fours. So pay attention to that. You can Google those. You can learn the vibrations and the meaning of numbers. You can teach yourself. Self-taught. So this is a lobster. So it says, there is a change coming your way. Cultivate a source of adventure so you will be able to see these new prospects. So shed the old because something new is coming to you and I feel like it has to do with your uniqueness so get rid of a lot of things you don't use it's good to do like spring cleaning in your body spring cleaning in your home spring cleaning in your car it when you remove energy old energy which is clothes things you don't use and give them to other people it brings energy back to you it brings positive energy and then it makes room for new energy to come towards you so I am a big believer on gifting or not gifting, just donating what I don't use, what I grow out of. And I've taught my kids that a lot. And it's really a good thing to do. And I know right now it might be a hard time to donate with what's going on. But clear out what you don't use and what's just cluttering up your life and your body, your home. So the first one of the angels and ancestors is Lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. So the angel seeds being exposed in here to me is the five elements of life. You can Google that as well and learn, teach that to yourself. The apples are abundance. The lady is grounded in love and she, how do I say this? She vibrates at love. So the happiness and the perseverance the 1111 numbers, the four numbers, there's something in your life that you've mastered, something that you're unique at that is going to make you special from everybody else, but also make you go further in life because you figured out what is special about you. Something about you is really beautiful. People are happy to be around you. And the next one is She-Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within. So there's a lot of feathers on here, which is the divine. Your first card was the heaven card. So, and then the moon. And this is almost so bright, it looks like a sun, which would be happiness. So I feel like She-Wolf talks about finding the alpha in you, the, something in you that makes you so superbly strong that others know the power you have within you. Without being mean to anybody, I'm not saying that. You exert something about you from people just looking at you that you're... You're happy, you're love, you vibrate at love, but you also have knowledge within you of your strength and how to go towards your happiness, if that makes sense. So really powerful reading, really powerful. And I'll probably think of many things to say after I shut this off too. It's how it, it always is. All right, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is just a general reading of how your person feels about you. Thank you so much. Bless you.